the hockey team that was run by the mob. Before the New York Rangers, there was the New York Americans. Owned by Big Bill Dwyer, a mobster who amassed a fortune bootlegging alcohol during the Prohibition. Hockey fever had taken over New York. Packing out MSG with Dwyer's famous rum-running friends, Americans players on cigarette ads, and then the addition of a second New York hockey team, the Rangers. And it wouldn't be a team run by the mob without attempting to fix games. Dwyer coerced the goal judge to sound the goal horn if the puck even touched the goal line. One night, a goalie for the Ottawa Senators named Alex Connell struck the goal judge with the butt end of his stick. Connell would need a police escort out of MSG to avoid paying for his actions with his life. Dwyer would eventually be arrested, leaving him broke and putting the Americans in severe debt, until they eventually folded, making the New York Rangers the only hockey team left in New York City. The New York Americans will always be remembered as 